So last time we looked at series of consecutive integers. This time we're going to be looking at series of consecutive squares. Consecutive squares. What does that mean? So basically we are now squaring consecutive numbers. So let's say this this is what we did last time. We just added the numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3, let's say until 10. This time it's going to be 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 all the way until 100. So you, you see what happened here. Each of these numbers have been squared. And we're going to find out how we can find the sum of the squared numbers. Now, last time we worked with a formula, and this time we're also going to work with a formula, but we're not going to go over the derivation of the formula because it actually, it's actually a little bit complicated, more complicated than last time. So I'm just going to give you the formula here. And the formula is when you're adding numbers from 1 all the way to n. Again, we're using n to generalize. And this time, we're adding the squares, not just the numbers. We're adding the squares. So it's i squared. That is going to equal n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. OK, so how does this formula apply? to actual questions. So let's say we want to add up all the squares from 1 to, let's say, 16. Okay, so that's like adding up numbers 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 dot dot dot, all the way until 16 squared, right? That's 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, etc. And we're adding up all the numbers until 16 squared. And we can do this. Since 16 is not that big of a number, we can. It's, it's doable. But it's much easier and much faster if you use the formula. So in this case, n is 16. So we just put in 16 for n. So 16 times, oops, not n. 16 plus 1 times 2 times 16 plus 1, all divided by 6. And now that is going to equal 16 times 17 times 2 times 16 is 32, plus 1 is 33. All right, and then we're dividing that by 6. So if you do that on the calculator, you'll see that you'll get 1,496. So if you add up all these numbers like this, you'll get 1,496. So that's how you add consecutive squares. The important thing is, is you just need to know this formula. I don't think it's necessary to memorize it at the moment, but you need to know how to utilize this formula to add up all the numbers or all the squared numbers.